Hello, everybody that's ready to get started with using MIDI inside of Studio One. So this video is going to recover how to set up your MIDI interface or MIDI device into Studio One to be able to play the virtual instruments, add MIDI input and so forth. So this is going to be a basic overview, setting it up, playing it and looking at the editor for some basic functions, quantizing and such. All right, so let's get started. In order to set up your MIDI interface, you will need to visit the devices panel inside of your preferences. So let's access that. We're going to click preferences. We're going to hit external devices. As you see, I have absolutely no MIDI inside or coming into Studio One. So what we're going to do is we're going to click add. In add, you may have a preset for your instrument as I do. So I'm going to choose the Akai and I'm going to choose the MPK 49. So there are some presets in here where there may be a first, second and third generation. A lot of the time they're still using the same settings. So I have a Akai MPK 49 here. And so they have a preset already set for me. It's going to ask me to receive from as long as the driver is installed, device is connected you should see the input into here. So as you see, my Kai MPK 49 shows up at the bottom. If you do not see any inputs, the first thing you want to check is if your MIDI device needs a driver. Once that is installed, you should see it pop up here. So for now, I'm going to choose port one for my Akai. Normally, when you're dealing with MIDI interfaces, there isn't a purpose of sending the MIDI back out to the device unless you have specific reasoning, such as sending it to an external instrument like a synthesizer. But unless your MIDI device has those capabilities, you wouldn't have a reason to send the MIDI information back to the device. So for me, using the Akai MPK, I'm going to set this to none. Then I'm going to click OK. Now, for those who do not have a preset here, fear not. If you need to set up a new keyboard for your keyboard, like if you're using the Yamaha electrical pianos that have MIDI input, or you're using a very prestigious keyboard like a Core Kronos or something, which as you see, Kronos is not in here. The Chromes are not in here as well. You will need to set up a new keyboard. So the first thing they ask you to do is give the name to your keyboard. And this is for your um, recordings specifically. So manufacture, you'll write a Kai. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.